You're watching Talking Points, a focus on the political scene in Lubbock and across the South Plains. Welcome back to the show. Here's a look at some of your political headlines of the past week. The overhaul might be coming to the United States immigration system as Republicans unveil a draft bill on the matter. The proposal includes $25 billion for border security, including funds for President Trump's long-promised border wall. It also works to create a pathway to citizenship for DACA recipients and tries to address complaints about current immigration standards. Among the concerns, separation of children from their parents. There is a possibility changes could be made to that proposal before any vote. The White House aide says President Trump supports the idea of officials working together towards a consensus on the issue. U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions says he knows domestic violence victims from other countries often try to seek a better life here in the U.S., but he's saying now that that's not necessarily grounds to grant them asylum here in the country. After a decision this week, immigration attorneys say they're scrambling to figure out how to best help their clients win asylum cases. Sessions cited a previous immigration case where it says asylum statute isn't a general hardship statute. Some police officers in Texas are urging lawmakers to invest more in mental health as they explore ways to improve school safety. Monday's Senate committee hearing at the Texas Capitol focused on school security, things like metal detectors, cameras, and possibly arming more school personnel. School designers say seeking community feedback should be step one. Other school safety directors say instead of pouring money into a school's infrastructure, they should be prioritizing more mental health resources to have a bigger impact. This week in San Antonio, thousands of Republicans were gathering for the state GOP convention with Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick addressing the crowds and Governor Greg Abbott taking the stage as well, discussing everything from their own faith to the military to even the recent school shootings. This before launching into setting the party platform. Take a listen. It's been the worst of times for many Texans. Unimaginable loss and pain and i want to recognize everyone who helped defend the freedom that our flag symbolizes so if there's anybody in this room who has ever worn the uniform of our united states military would you please stand or wave your hand so we can thank you for your support and last week, the local Democratic Party here in town elected a new chair, John Gibson, a local attorney. Now, that's ahead of their convention this coming week in Fort Worth. Those state party members expected to pour into the Fort Worth Convention Center to hear from key party leaders and set their 2018 state party platform. So here to spend five good minutes with us is T.G. Carraway. He's with the Democratic Party here in town. It's good to have you on. It's good to be here. Now, we've got some stuff out here on the table because you are headed to the convention, yep. and it's not your first time headed there. Tell us a no, little bit about gonna that. Be, this is going to be my eighth convention. The first convention I got to go to was in 1996. Uh, I've kind of been involved in politics, Democratic politics, for about 40 years. I, I started by driving a tractor to Washington, D.C. from Lubbock. Uh, when Ken Hans was still a Democratic congressman, and we was uh, up there uh, lobbying for for our family farmers and stuff like that to get parity prices and stuff like that, and and I've kind of been involved in politics since then. But uh, uh, I was in the Air Force for seven years. I'd, I'd worked here in Lubbock through through the 80s and stuff. In '87, I joined the United States Air Force and served for seven years. And I, my last year was out at Reese, and I got out and I said I'm going to get back involved in Democratic politics, and I went to the first state convention. Uh, in, in Dallas in 1996 and uh, got real involved uh, with the Victor Morales campaign. That was when Victor Morales, the teacher from Crandall, ran for the U.S. Senate, uh, was running and uh, got a Young Democrats group started here in Lubbock after that and uh, wound up uh, moving to Austin uh, after Speaker Pete Laney met me and said, why don't you come down to Austin and come to work at the Capitol? And I worked in the uh, Capitol. Uh, offices down there the house business office for three years and then i worked in the general land office for three years but all that time i was involved in democratic politics in austin too and stuff so so and went so to all the been conventions to, you yeah. said seven conventions. this will this will be seven this is seven conventions this will be my eighth one that i've that i've been to what's a typical day like at a convention for a delegate uh pretty much you, uh, you go you show up and sign in and all that and everything and there's usually 
Uh, during the afternoon and stuff like that, there'll be uh, like uh, little trainings and stuff like that if you want to go find out about how Democrats can get better on Twitter and stuff like that and, and different important. things. And always GOTV type stuff of going, you know, knocking on people's doors and stuff. Always training, training the folks that are that are out there that's, that's working in the communities, you know, knocking on the doors and making that. But then also you, you get to meet the candidates. You get to meet the candidates from all over the state, not just not just like who's running for U.S. Senate or, or your Congress. Or, but your state reps and even all the way down to your to your county officials and stuff like that. So, so you're just, mentioning those candidates there. I know something mm -hmm. everybody is talking about. Beto has become Beto. a household name. Yes. Uh, what I mean, have you seen a candidate energize a party uh, like he has with the Democratic Party here in Texas? Like I said, I've been involved in Democratic politics for 40 years and pretty much been an activist for the last 20 years from 1996 to now. I've never seen a candidate like Beto O'Rourke that brings this brought the grassroots like he's come out I mean you know every, he's been here like seven times and every time he's come there's been more and more and people this last time at Texas Tech we had over 800 people in the ballroom there he's gonna come back and you know we're probably gonna have to have a have another room like we had when Bernie Sanders came in March where we filled 1200 people up at the Civic Center I mean he's just you know Beto is he he is this this convention is going to be his convention this is going to be where he's going to kind of be his coming out party and he's going to show his vision for what he he wants to do in the U.S. Senate for Texans. So that brings me to my next question you've obviously been around the block a few times with these conventions what is going to make 2018 different is it Beto? Beto has Beto does have a lot to do with it. I mean Beto Beto is a is a big factor in that but he's made the point, and I've made the point on the campaign trail too, as as a candidate running for county commissioner here in Lubbock, that uh, you know President Trump has been probably the best organizer for our side that I've ever seen in these 40 years too. That there's just a lot of Democrats that are very upset about how our, the direction our country is going in, and we're lining up, you know, from from Beto all the way down to to our county commissioner candidates and stuff. To, to we we want to make a change. Here in Texas, you know, and and you know, we're we're bringing candidates forward. Like my candidacy, there hadn't been a Democrat run for this seat in 30 years, and I was going to make sure in 2018 that wasn't going to be the case. And so, for someone like you, who you know maybe stepped out and then got reinvolved, if anyone is out there listening and they want to get involved with the local party here, what's the best way to go about that? Well, you know, you can get on you can get online. You know, we there's Facebook pages that the Lubbock Democratic Party has. There's Facebook pages that all our candidates. Have. You can get on and just, you know, you can do a Google search on T.G. Carraway or Miguel Lavario or Samantha Fields Carrillo, you know, and, and, and that'll bring up our Drew, Drew Landry and stuff. That'll bring up our candidates here that's running for, for, for local things. Or you can go to like the LubbockDemocrats.org, you know, that's, that's the first place you can go to, you know, to get information on the Democratic Party here in Lubbock. All right, Mr. Carraway headed to Fort Worth this week. Thank you so much for being here with us. Appreciate it.